Hello everybody, this is Gold here again. This time I have another review. One of my favorite <clears throat> reviews, I guess you could say. Just because probate. They are so awesome. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story what happened. But these guys know their business. They're the seller of the probate. Okay, here goes the story. I was fixing a shave. I filled my sink full of water. I had my probary in my pocket. And I took it out of the pocket and I took me a vape off from it. And I set it on the sink. I'm sipping in my pocket. I turn around. <coughs> in the drawer and I get my razors out. I turn back around and knock it right into the sink. Full of water. Yeah. Full of water. And I sit there and basically just looked at it for a second because I was shocked that my probary was laying in water, submerged under water in the sink. I said a few choice words. Hurried up. <coughs> Jerked out of water, took off my atomizer, threw it in the trash, took out my battery, dried it real fast, and went to the kitchen, got some paper towels, start drying it out around it, dry it off the best I could, shuck it for days, it seemed like to take the water out of it. <clears throat> and then I had a tripod, so I was like, well, what can I use to dry it? Well, a hair dryer. And it took me a few minutes to find a hair dryer because I don't use one. But I found one that had probably about an inch thick of dust on it, probably, uh, in a drawer. That's an exaggeration, but I don't use one, so. Anyways. Uh, I dried it out best I could, and but it still seemed like it still some in there. So, uh, <clears throat> my sister-in-law came over and she said, put some rice in it. This rice is always water. So I filled it full of rice. Let that sit in there for about 15 minutes. Emptied it out. Uh, shook it out. Poured some more in there. Let it sit for another 15 minutes. And then I shook it, got all the rice out of it. And, uh, and it seemed like it was pretty dry. So then, I put the battery in it. The little light blinks when you put a battery in it. The, uh, look, I'll show you. I put the battery in it, screwed the cap on, I was like, oh, come on, blink, 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 blink. And it blinked. I said, all right. So, I was nervous to push the power button because I didn't know if it was going to mess it up or what. I was hoping it would work. I pushed the button. Hmm, power up and power down. It's working great. I powered up and powered down. All right, next step, I went over there and I, I checked the... Uh, the battery. I checked the battery. The battery checked fine. Said, hey, it's it's gonna be okay. So <clears throat> I went and screwed Adam on it, hit it nothing. It would not work. I was like, man, I messed that thing up, knocked it in the water, what am I gonna do? I was really agitated at myself at that point. I didn't know what I was gonna do. So then I checked it to make it check the atomizer because it will read the resistance of the atomizer. It will check your battery and all that. Everything is working off of that. I mean, I can turn it off and I can turn it on. I can power it up, power it down. Every, all the functions work perfect except that one. And it was giving me a message or giving me a reading of 1.3. And I thought, if I had an atomizer on or off, usually it says OP. If you take atomizer off and check it, it'll say OP. And uh, it wouldn't matter if I had atomizer on or off, it still gave me 1.3 reading. I was like, that's it. It's it's done. I screwed up my probary. Kick myself over and over about it. What well, I'm going to do, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to email probate. I emailed them. 
within, I'd say 20, 30 minutes, I got email back. That fast. It might even be a faster than that, just so when I decided to check it, it was in there. He told me he gets the 99% alcohol. Uh, isoprol alcohol. But all I had was 91%. So, his instructions were to turn it upside down and fill the whole inside cavity up with alcohol. Shake it around a little bit, pour it out, and repeat one more at a time. And then basically, shake, you know, just shake it all you can, it, turn it upside down, leave the cap off for 24 hours. I did that. And you can see it's working today. It's working like a new one. It's working like a champ. So this thing has been submerged underwater for about probably a minute or more because I was I was in shock when I fell in the sink. I was in literally in shock that my probary was laying underwater. But these guys jumped right on my email, gave me a solution, and my probary is fixed now. So mainly this review goes out to probate these guys are awesome and so are the PVs they make it checks your voltage it checks your, your amps it powers up powers down you can turn it off so it won't function it's got an off and on function where you can click it on or off all in one unit and at the time, I was really, I mean, it just it depressed me bad because I thought I'd rather run my probary. But it works fine now. I'll just like to thank Probate because those guys know what they're doing and they get good, good quality PVs. This is the best PV I ever owned. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Just because all the functionality that's on it. I don't have to take my batteries out to check anything. I don't have to get a meter to check my own resistance. I don't have to do nothing. All I gotta do is push that button and it does it all for me. So, but that's all I got for you right now. I just like to say a special thanks to Probate for getting back with me and fixed my problem over, over the internet. That's freaking awesome. Until next time, Keep on living. Go without.